Hey everybody, this is Kyle, aka Vulcan Wolverine MD. Um, it's like 10:30 p.m. on September 14th, 2021. I'm having a lot of uh, communications issues. Like my communications have been cut. Um, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna post this. Hopefully, I can get it posted. But like, whenever I try and make a video with an article, right? There's like two two more people who've been hit in Austria. And then the State Department is switching Havana Syndrome. I don't know how they just get to decide the names, but they're taking that name that was already kind of bad, but we could kind of use it, uh, write the legislation, Havana Act, and now they're calling uh, microwave attacks, directed energy weapon attacks, uh, UHIs, on, on what was like a UFO, like an unidentified health incident, right? which is so far away from what the National uh, Institute of Science has said about it, James Udorno, all the experts, the Senate, and everything. So they're, they're going against the Senate on, on renaming it this. Um, and I found that on Twitter. I forgot who put it up there. Uh, it's kind of a we it's like a long, weird name. Um, but, but thank you for putting that up on Twitter. I can't go through those articles right now. Um, because my attacker just whenever I try and make a video they will just freeze up my computer like I can go online and I can go on Hulu and watch you know TV or whatever and they don't mess with my computer it runs what it runs perfectly but then whenever I even think about doing a video because today I saw that article it's like freeze up the computer then old Kyle went to the phone right but my attackers have filled my phone up with like other and system software. Um, so I'm going to have to get some stuff off my phone. Um, and, and I brought Pepper in to the veterinarian. They ran some tests on her and stuff. She's really, really sick. And she's got some stuff like an enlarged heart and an enlarged liver. But also I think um, some allergies and things like that. And her hips are bad. So, um, so they, they did a bunch of tests and we still don't know exactly what's going on. Um, but when I was making the phone video, she was just barking the entire time. She started just barking all the time and it's either cause she wants to get up, uh, she wants to get up, she wants my attention or, or her hips are hurting. Right. Uh, so it's been kind of hectic. Um, I hope everybody's just hanging in there preparing right and that's what this video is about because right now it's like with with you know with my attackers just kind of putting the kibosh on my communications and stuff and there's a lot to talk about you know plus a lot of other things um i'm looking at a i'm looking at a leap from the lion's head let me explain that right you guys know i love movie metaphors i'm sure some of you are just like don't talk in movie metaphors but this is an important one um, I've been thinking a lot about Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and kind of the last test he had there uh, before, the, before the Holy Grail, right? And he's like clinging against the wall. He's clinging against the wall because there's this huge chasm, right? There's this huge chasm. He doesn't see anything there. And he remembers what's in his father's journal, right? And in his father's journal, it says, you must take a leap from the lion's head, right? I've been thinking about that a lot because sometimes it's like, I can't make videos, my attackers are screwing all that up and I'm like, There's, there seems to be nothing this way. Although there, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of things that I'm working on. I just don't wanna just put them all out here, right? Um, I'm trying to do things the smart way because things are really heating up uh, with my targeting and gang stalking, which I'm very surprised. Uh, I thought things. I thought people would kind of catch on. Things are bad. Don't don't be harassing the person in your neighborhood. But uh, I think it's the opposite, right? They're like, oh, my country's in danger, and I, I need something to do, and so they just harass and murder uh, innocent neighbors, right? Because that's what the system it has a pathway for them to do. It doesn't really have a pathway for them to fix anything, right? Um, but so, okay, so Indiana Jones is cl he's clutched against the wall and he remembers in his father's journal a leap from the lion's head and his dad's dying and his dad's like, you must believe, right? 
and he jumps. He takes a leap from like it doesn't seem like there's anything there. It's just this huge chasm. But boom, he finds his footing. Right, his with his faith and the leap from the lion's head, he finds his footing. There was something there. Right. I've been thinking about that. I've just been thinking about that a lot with how bad things are getting and you know social media kind of being a um being a cancer you know social media is a cancer and it's just it's just filled up with cognitive dissonance and people paid to say the wrong stuff and they do it very easily and then when people when some people do say the right stuff it's like you know stuff happens to screw that up um and you know when these communications things i'll just open up to y'all uh, when these communications things start happening where it's like, oh god, I can't, like I start to make a video, it, like I'm offline right now doing this, but they could freeze this up if they want it. So it's like, oh, at their, at their whim, right? And I was kind of thinking, well, you know, it may be, it may be time to kind of stop yapping and get with some of these projects like you know, stacking up the evidence that maybe we could find a pathway and then kind of figure out how to report that to you guys. I'm not sure. I'm still meditating on things. I guess I could get a new computer and it would take them a little while to get into it. I'm, I'm, I'm meditating and thinking, which is good, but it's it's just I gotta be, I gotta do something, right? Like I, I, I sit here and I'm like, All right, yeah, if, I won't go into it. But anyway... There was a huge chasm, and it didn't seem like anything was there. But it was a leap from the lion's head. And this isn't just for me, right? I'm not just saying this is a good metaphor just for my situation. It might be a great metaphor for all of our situations. My attackers are just like nailing me with microwaves in the head. Um, that maybe sometimes it's like God's asking you to take a leap from the lion's head. It seems like... It just seems like there's nothing there, but there is, you know. And I just wanted to convey that message to you today uh, about the things that I'm thinking about. Um, and I just hope y'all are getting through this. Uh, I'm thinking about a lot of things. Um, but the, tar the targeting is bad. Targeting's very bad. I'm trying to take care of little Pepper. She's she's got so many health issues and she's old, so I'm trying to, you know, get the testing done and then whatever we need to do, whatever we can fix, we fix, right? Um, my poor little baby. Um let me read this real quick and then I'll end it with this. Um you know U H I unidentified I, we have to ignore that. It has to be ignored because the State Department is treasonous, right? Um, but it's just like I feel like it will affect uh, the mainstream media, the public's outlook on this, or at least not sign the the non-scientific minds in the public. Um, and that show it shows like the brutal tyranny to the people that are doing this to the people in their countries. They're the ones who are are doing the investigation, and then at any time they can be like oh, well, we're just going to change the name, right? And they're saying they're changing the name because a disease, a disease can't be named after a country or anything. It's like racist or whatever. But this is not a disease. These are weapons being fired upon citizens in every country. Brutal directed attacks, right? And what I was thinking today when I was driving home, and I, I was like, you know, this is a Cold War at the same time as a hot war, right? The microwave weapons and the poisoning and everything, that's hot war, that's killing. It's asymmetrical warfare, but it's its doing damage to people, torturing at the least, toxifying their bodies, causing problems at the least, killing at the worst. Um, but then the Cold War, the gang stalking, people lying, politicians lying, you know, all these psyops and everything, the Cold War, right? But it's a, it's not. It's not a Cold War. They're, they're hot weapons, right? Bioweapons, uh, bioweapons on a global scale and, uh, you know, directed energy weapons that can be used anywhere on the globe against anybody, 
you know. And I think I think that's why we're seeing we need to think about this because we're like, why don't people see this? Why are people acting so crazy? Why would people gang stalk when something you know something bad happens to their country? Why would they think to gang stalk an innocent person or get confused on like how this isn't exactly like Mao Zedong's China or Nazi Germany, but there's mind control on a mass scale, right? I mean, frequencies can just be sprayed at wide angles over entire cities and populations. And I know there, I know there's some even targeted individuals that are like, oh man, Kyle, you're too, conspir con too conspiratorial or something like that. But no, it's, it's, this is what's happening. Big stuff, they're going for it. Like the top of the pyramid, they're psychopaths. And when psychopaths do something, they don't just go, Oh, we'll do a little bit of bad stuff, and then um, that that will then start doing good. No, it's just all the way. They go all the way because they're psychopaths, you know. Um, I can't really think when I do videos nowadays. It's like they're trying to do a stoppage on like everything, like my brain when I'm doing videos, the computer. Uh, that when I was doing it on the phone, Pepper kept barking, and like I had just given her med her meds, like. 30 minutes before she shouldn't have been in pain right so i'm like are they remote neural manipulating her this stuff sounds crazy i realize that to non-target individuals but i mean my attackers are like going insane it's like they feel more free with the events that are going on in our communities in the world the 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 chaos they feel like they're hurting me more and stuff like that because they feel like oh well definitely now he can't get any medical help or something like that which I am. I'm just trying to do it carefully, and I have to take care of Pepper first. Let me read this, guys. I don't know if I'll even be able to, to post this video, because um, my attackers are going hardcore on just, like, not letting me get anything out. Um, I'm kind of thinking at this point, their actions, yeah, but, you know, God's been kind of working on my heart on the uh, leap from the lion's head and that there's something there and I don't see anything there and I keep there's stuff there's stuff like uh projects that I would you know definitely do I'm just thinking I'm just thinking um I want to obey God right and some things it's like am I pushing I'm pushing so hard and is it too much sugar for a dime? Have I helped people as much as I'm going to help people already with what I've kind of done on social media? And now it's time for a leap from the lion's head, you know. And this could be maybe a message going out to some of to some of you other guys and gals who are like, I'm sorry, some of other you, you men and women who are like, I, I don't see anything, but I definitely got to do something, right? And I think that's what all Christians, patriots, good people in the world, we're going to have to take a leap from the lion's head. We're going to have to have faith on a lot of stuff. And God's still kind of going to provide. And he's still there. And he's still on the throne. You know. And he's still in the room. Right? All right somebody sent me a song, uh, The King is in the Room. Great song. Maybe I'll post it, um, you know, if, my, if, my, if I can get stuff through. I do want to read this real quick to end this out. Uh, this short video, just kind of letting you all know what's going on with me. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with me with, with all the events that are happening, right? And what would be the best thing for me to do um, to have a chance, to have a chance of getting us, some of us out of this, right? Um, putting it in God's hands, you know, trying to just let go, but... Uh, with the targeting being so intense, I have to do something about it. You know, I can't just be like, well, I'll just let it go and kind of kind of live my life out, right? It's, it's that bad to the brain. Um, this is what I wanted to read, because this has to do with the leap from the lion's head. Faith is the belief that God is real and that God is good. It is a choice to believe that the one who made it all hasn't left it all, and that he still sends light into the shadows and responds to gestures of faith. Faith is the belief that God will do what is right. God says that the more hopeless your circumstances, the more likely your salvation. The greater your cares, the more genuine your prayers. The darker the room, the greater the need for light. 
God's help is near and is always available, but it is only given to those who seek it. And that's from something called He Still Moves Stones. This is from uh, God's inspirational promises. Father, we long to submit ourselves to you so that we will know the holy freedom only you can give. And I think that's very apropos for what's happening all over the globe. Uh, the tyranny all over the globe. The New World Order tyranny all over the globe. We've just, we've just got to say these things because I feel like people don't go far enough like it, like some people on YouTube and you've you got the Steven Crowders and the people who really do seem to be like trying to tell the truth but they just can't reach a certain level, right? And I feel like it's like the emergency lights are going off and at the very least we have to say what's going on, right? Um inspirational promises faith means being sure of the things we hope for and knowing that something is real even if we do not see it it is by faith we understand that the whole world was made by God's command so what we see was made by something that cannot be seen without faith no one can please God anyone who comes to God must believe that he is real and that he rewards those who truly want to find him Hebrews 11 1 3 and 6 the good news shows how God makes people right with himself, that it begins and ends with faith. As the scripture says, but those who are right with God will live by trusting in him. And that's Romans 1.17. And I like this, this last one. We'll end it with this last one. Um, you know, and I just want to say, like, I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do yet against... I'm just figuring out, like, ways around what my attackers are doing. Um, and it's it's just really distracting and, like, off... They're taking me off, right, of just, like, putting these mainstream articles out is what I want it to do, right? Um, I'll tell you, though, the way they're acting, it seems like we have chances of changing this. It seems like we have some very good avenues that they don't want us lining up this mainstream stuff with what what we're talking about, what we're dealing with, right? The same exact thing. The same exact thing. Um, I got other stuff I'm working on, too. This is great. This is great right here. And the other half of working on everything, Elite from the Lion's Head, to listen to what God wants me to do in this situation where I'm up against a wall, right? And all I see is this chasm, right? Isn't that a cool movie? It's a cool movie metaphor. I think some of y'all will appreciate it. And then he, he thinks about what's in his father's journal. The elite from the lion's head. And his, and his dad is dying, right? He's been shot. And he's like, boy, you must believe, boy. You must believe, right? Powerful stuff. You know, sometimes the, the universe leaves little breadcrumbs for people in these, in these movies and, and art and things like that. Uh, Jordan Peterson talks about the narrative, the narrative world touching the real world a lot. Like in that it happens when there's a certain kind of energy, right? And I love that. I love that. I mean, at the same time, not being completely delusional and thinking you can fly out a window or something because you're Superman, right? But, but cool metaphors that flow into our lives. I feel like they're from God a lot. That the universe will speak to you in ways that, and especially if you have B2K, in ways that they can't mimic, right? They can't do. Um, I like this one. We have troubles all around us, but we are not defeated. We have troubles all around us, but we are not defeated. We do not know what to do. Mm. I got some ideas. I got some ideas, but right, it's so big, right? It's so big, you got people in communities that they don't know how to fix anything, and they start gang-stalking innocent people, and they think they're like, oh, at least I'm doing that and helping my community. What? I mean, how, how did the system get that set up so that when people were, like, panicking and fearful and were like, I need to do something for my country, it would be, like, harassing and gang-stalking people that were being microwaved to death and experimenting? That's one of the things that people think they need to do to help our country, and it's destroying it. I mean, it's destroying it. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about, you know, 
getting my happy ass to Florida and then getting my happy ass to another country, right? Especially with the jibby jib, you know what I'm saying? The jibby jib, manda de, manda de. I'm gonna talk in other languages now because we can't say words. Anything that's important will be censored. <laughs> Anything that's important for our safety, health, and survival, well, that's censored now. And you've got to defer to um, criminals <laughs> in a cult who are lying to us. Okay, so let's start over. Let's start over with this one. We have troubles all around us, but we are not defeated. We do not know what to do, but we do not give up the hope of living. We are persecuted, but God does not leave us. We are hurt sometimes, but we are not destroyed. So we do not give up. Our physical body is becoming older and weaker, but our spirit inside of us is made new every day. I, I have goosebumps. I never get goosebumps because my nervous system so messed up, but I got goosebumps off of that. We are hurt sometimes, but we are not destroyed, so we do not give up. Our physical body is becoming older and weaker, but our spirit inside is made new every day in Christ in Christ. We have small troubles for a while now, but they are helping us gain an eternal glory that is much greater than the troubles. We set our eyes not on what we see, but on what we cannot see. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 9, 16 through 18. Wow. I didn't read the end of that. I saw the only thing I saw when I was picking this out is I saw we have troubles all around us. And I go that one <laughs> but I love that verse I love that 2nd Corinthians 4 it fits so perfectly into the leap from the lion's head right and I'm sure the leap from the lion's head can mean a different thing for each of you guys out there and no nothing bad or anything like that. I'm talking about good actions about winning right winning with God in the name of Jesus Christ we set our eyes not on what we see, but on what we cannot see. All right. right now, I see my attackers are just like V2K. Me, I, I keep talking to them out loud, my place, and I'm not sure if the nurse over there is, is doing noise campaigns or they're or they're faking it right. Um, like I have a nurse that lives right by me. It, it seems like it would be a perfect scenario because I need medical help, but instead, it's like. You, they gang stalk you. <laughs> it's like what? It's like what's happening there? Um, but that fits so perfectly. And a leap from the lines that can mean a lot of different things. And I know, like when God speaks to your heart, there's solid ground, right? Solid ground in in a, in a chasm where you're like, it just looks like there's nowhere to go, right? You must believe. You must believe, boys and girls. All right, guys, I love y'all. I'm going to try and do what I can do. Like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm actually on Hulu. It's it's really kind of a... It's a weird incidence with the universe. I, I You know, open up Hulu, because I, I got it just to watch the practice. I love the practice. I love the practice when they get up there and they're pleading their case. I, I liked it before I was targeted or before I knew I was targeted, but I like it a lot more after targeting. And um and an ER came up. You you all know the show ER? Great show. I watched it in, in college. In college it was like I love ER. It came out in the nineteen nineties, so it was out when I was a kid, but then it came out later on T and T when I was like in college and I, I just watched every episode um, I think Carter is like my favorite character on there, but um, you know it, it kind of goes to this. It's like the universe kind of speaking is like God speaking to me a little bit, um, because I used to be like all about healing people and like you know the peacemaker. The you know that, that is my role, and I guess it's been my role. Um, you know, being targeted, but it fe it feels like I've gone more into a, like I've got to fight, I've got to, you know, like I got to get these people. You know, we got to do this, and it's more like a war 
and um, it was like the universe just kind of speaking to my heart about um, about how we may need to fight in this world, and it it may not, you know, you know, heal each other, and um, and it just kind of brought me back to what I was before this, like the dreams that I had and how I thought that I would bring those out into the world and then this, of course, targeting happens and you're like fighting every day. I gotta be a warrior. I've gotta get through this torture and, and then these people are gang stalking me so it's not like you have this compassionate like, hey, how you doing today? And you can help your community because you're forced out of your community and they actually attack you not even knowing you while you're being microwaved and it doesn't bring a feeling of what do I need to do to help them or what, you know. Um, but got me thinking, got me thinking a lot. You know, and this ain't over. Humanity's not over. Um, the the jab, uh, the jab, so bad. Just try and use every exemption you got. You know what I'm saying? Religious medical I mean I'm thinking I have Crohn's disease uh, which is actually my my immune system is works overtime so it's not like my immune system is like down I have to take immunosuppress I had to take immunosuppressants like in the past because my immune system keeps going right so I think I got the coof my brother got the jib right I'm gonna say that my brother got the jib because of his federal work and then immediately afterwards him and his friend got poof, right? And then I went over there and hung out with them for a night, and then I, I was feeling like more, but the targeting's so bad, I always get headaches, I always kind of feel feverish, and I got like a headache, why did I do that on headache? Um, I got a, like a headache and kind of a runny nose, and my body was kind of achy, but I took like vitamin C and, uh, and some other things. Um, vitamin d and things like that and like the apple cider vinegar and all the cleansing and everything and then it was like a couple of days i was i was good i don't know i don't know if i if but it but right when my brother got the g right that's when a bunch of people like him and his friend and then maybe me i don't know i don't know because the targeting's mixed in my immune system is like uh like really weird so weird things happen and it's not like gone it's too much like my in my immune system it's it's weird it's weird my immune system's weird because i have crohn's um but i think i did i think i got the coup um and i'm gonna go ahead with natural immunity uh can that one can natural immunity get this video like taken down we're 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 in it guys we're up against the wall but a leap from the lion's head. And if you've not seen that movie, if you've not seen Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, if you have not seen any Indiana Jones, you could just watch Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and be fine, and you'd love that movie. Just for the ending. Just for the ending, I say. Um, it's a great scene. It's a great scene. It's a great... It's a, it's just a great, it's a great metaphor for faith in general sometimes. And where it seems, reality seems a certain way, but God's asking something of us. And there's solid ground, you know. And that's what I kind of want to convey. I know there's a lot of fear in society. What are we going to do? This is crazy. This is like the outer limits, plus some psycho Twilight Zone, plus what's well, a really violent one of those shows, like Tales from the Crypt mixed with Outer Limits, you know, um, but God will give us solid ground, he will always give us solid ground, um, all right guys, I love y'all, you know, let's just figure things out, and let's just prepare, uh, be the best that we can, help people in society, if you meet somebody that's, you know, really into the jib and stuff like that, just be like, all right, whatever. You know, I went into the veterinarian. This is from yesterday. I fell asleep in it yesterday. And, you know, I went in there kind of weird. Well, I don't know. I don't know about it. But, but everybody, you know, had gotten their vaccines in there and everything like that. And I didn't have to do it. Nobody said anything. The doctor's so cool. She, she has an older pet. So she started, we were looking at the x-rays, right? 
of Pepper, and Pepper has like this thing that she doesn't know what it is, and it's like outside of the stomach, and then there's another spot too, and then she's got this thing on her butt that's like a, a fatty tumor hanging off, but we're not sure if it's cancerous, right? And then she's got like uh, she's got a lot of stuff going on. And me and the doctor were looking at the X-rays, and the doctor's going to get a bunch of like second opinions and stuff like that. And like she was talking about her dogs, she started crying, like she started having like tears started welling up, and I was like, this is the right doctor, you know? She really cares. Um, that was just barking up a storm on that phone video, and now she's like knocked out, not her new medication. Please pray for Pepper. Please pray that she she has comfort and joy, you know, in the last part of her life, whether it be a couple months or maybe she gets three more years or four more years. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, and let's pray for just everybody, every, every good soul in the world, you know, dealing with uh, insanity. Like, I mean, I woke up this morning, I slept for... Because, like, in my mind, oh, I don't want to go that far. Because I'm still thinking about things, right? And I don't want y'all... I don't know. You know, I'm going to do something against this, but I'm just kind of like... Social media... Um, I just don't know. We, we've got to move fast, right? we got to move fast to get something in the cracks. You know, something in the cracks to widen it. And it's like... It feels like social media and videos was when, when we didn't have any kind of um, any kind of cracks in the dam to widen. It was cool because we were we're getting you know trying to stop the programs, but now it's like I feel like there's some carefully carefully laid punches that could be made. Right? I don't want to do a gun metaphor. Um, I'm just thinking about it. I don't know if I'll be able to get this video out, guys. I'm just working on. Uh, I'm just working on getting with God right now. You know, taking care of Pepper, talking to my parents about you know things that you know planning on doing and stuff like that. I love y'all uh, a lot and prepare, pray. Things are, you know, things are insane. Things are just really insane. In my individual life, you know, I wake up in a war zone. And, like, if I even, like, talk to my V2K or something, I'm getting noise campaigns and stuff like that. And people are just kind of taking, you know, the people around me are like, oh, this, this guy's talking to himself. Get him out of there, right? Um, and they don't have any idea what, what's going on. And then I, I had a, like, today I walked out. I'm um, yeah, doing, pre doing pretty bad right when I wake up. Um, and, you know, I'm walking Pepper, and this older lady, she's gang-stalked me before a lot, but then she kind of stopped, and now she's gang-stalking me vigorously. She's looking at what's happening in the world, and she's gang-stalking a 40-year-old man with a Captain America shirt on who's trying to save lives in my own, and I haven't committed any crimes or anything like that. And she's vigorously, she, me and Pepper, like, went and walked by her, and she walked out in time with that. And she's this kind of, she's this older lady. She drives elderly people around, and she gets them food and takes care of them, and so that's her job in the community. So she helps elderly people in the community, right? And that's how this system works. She says, what do I do to help my community? The authority says... Well, you gang stalk this guy. You go out at the exact same time. And she says, okay, I trust authority because I'm at a certain age where I can't imagine. I can't imagine all these authority figures just murdering innocent people and experimenting on them and covering it up, you know. So a lot of older people gang stalk because they, authority, they've trusted it for a long time. It's been trustworthy, you know, in the olden days, in the olden days of America, it's been trustworthy. So they're like, what's, you know, now we're in a crisis. We definitely have to trust authority, right? And it's the exact opposite in reality. We're in a crisis now that authority has created. And that's my PlayStation going off. That's why you all sometimes see me kicking this thing. I kick my controller so that it stays on so that it won't go off. Um... Yeah, but I mean, but it's it's the opposite. We can't trust authority now. Authority, the systems levers up from the pyramid are are destroying things. Are destroying things and trying to transhumanize people. You know, I don't know if this video will get totally censored or what, but it's like I can't. 
like like my attackers are clamping down on me with the communication things. Like it seems like after the live streams, after I stopped doing the live streams and started doing individual videos, they started just clamping down. There was a bunch of things that happened in there, and I don't I don't know. Um, but but I, I think I'm, I should probably be able to get this up. I'll fight them on it. They'll probably let me get it up, you know, at a certain point. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm just thinking. Watching ER. I'm on season two. That's a show that I can binge watch, you know. I need to be doing some more productive stuff, but it's like I, you know, I'm, I know what I need to do. Like, I know I'm going to go get another DTI and stuff, but... It's, I'm, I'm, I'm researching neurologists and things like that because it, one call to them and it's like, pfft, you, your report shows normal, right? Like one call from some authority figure like Naval Intelligence or, uh, or whatever, whoever, the Sheriff's Department even, or the, the coroner's office, I don't know. In my state, it, the coroner's office does weird things, right? In, in every other state, the coroner's office don't have as much authority as in my state. Um, so just thinking about things, you know, I know what I need to do to kind of start stacking things up, but it's not just a, oh, I'm going into a doctor that I can trust. It's something that I'm going to have to figure out and work my way around, right? Um, and I also need to go back to that dentist, but I'm very, she's such a nice lady. There's no chance that she would ever do anything bad, but it's like, if, if they're like, hey, you need it. We need another implant in this guy, and it's just tracking. And she's like, oh, "Okay, no big deal." Like, I mean, that's how these things are set up. Everybody's doing this murder business, but they're just told like, "Ah, oh, it's just making some noise," or "Ah, oh, it's just a tracking implant," or like, "Oh yeah, we're just trying to show this person that we're keeping watch on them," or something like. That. Like what? And it's like it's just hordes. It's like that. Um, they, I read this thing once on, on Satanism, and they had these things called grottos. Were they called grottos? I don't know. I read this thing, and it was like about uh, Michael Aquino and stuff like that, and just general Satanism where they would create these grottos, right? And all the Satanists, if they didn't like somebody, they would, like, mob them, right? They'd do bad things to them, like Scientology, right? So it's a very Satanic... Uh, a very satanic practice to like this gang stalking in the microwaving and getting as many people right I think that there's somebody I don't think that the people microwaving me and working on my brain are the same people that are shutting down my communications I think there's like two teams doing that and I think when I was doing well I don't want to go into that because it sounds crazy but just be careful right I mean we've got to keep in mind that when you get online and you're making videos you got a bunch of people watching your videos that have remote neural monitoring. And so their attackers are seeing you and, you know, seeing what you're doing. I mean, this is a way to con another way to control us that nobody has any idea about. You know, I, I, and a lot of people, I think a lot of people aren't targeted individuals on, that get online, you know, and they have targeted individuals that come into their live streams and they're saying something that the system doesn't like or they're just deemed to be a good target and they could be there could be targeted right so it's like all of social media is like this this place where they can just pick target like a target's going to a certain a certain person's video they don't like that person they can target them you know i mean it's a, there's a lot more complication around it than my little my stuttering uh here i love you guys i'm gonna go ahead and it's been about 40 minutes I think I, I think I can get this up. I think I can get this up, but um, you know, I'm really meditating right now. I'm meditating on that, not just that part in Indiana Jones, but y'all know, I'm meditating on uh, Leap from the Lion's Head. What does that mean for me? And maybe we should all, and I ain't talking, please, literally, literally, if I have to say, I don't have to say this, do I? I should say it. Just I'm not even talking about jumping off of buildings or anything like that or ending anybody's life, do not do that under any circumstances. Your life is so precious. I'm talking about a metaphorical in your life where it seems like maybe there's no solid ground. Sometimes you got to trust in God where, where God's telling your heart to go and he's saying there is solid ground there. You don't see it, but I see it. And you need to listen to me, right? And I'm not talking, I'm talking like that's what God would say. 
Um, all right, guys, I love y'all. Hopefully, I can get this up. And I just, I, I've been thinking about that a lot lately, you know, with how, with how bad things are, you know, I'll never get the jab. I, I would, like, I'm not a doctor, right? And I could, I guess I could get in trouble, but do not get it. Don't ever, don't ever. Um, and it's, it's a, it's a very incredibly scary thing, how it's being conveyed, right? And the, and the, the, the like, M-A-N-D-A-T, uh, to B U S I, you know what I'm talking about because I can't finish the spelling of business. <laughs> I actually probably could. I was a good speller. Uh, in in uh, what what grade was it? It was like first grade. I won a bunch of spelling bees, and you know what they say about people who can spell good? They're not very smart. Um, <laughs> y'all know that saying. It's like geniuses can't really spell good. I was the best speller in my school. Um, I don't think that's really... I think people can be really smart and be able to smell. Spell, not smell, you know. Um, all right, guys, that's it. That's all I want to say right now, and hopefully I can just get this up. There's a lot of articles that I want to go over, but once I do that... Maybe my attackers will let me do this, but they're freezing up the... I don't know. I don't know. Just trying to figure it out. Trying, I, I'm not trying to let God lead me. God is leading me, but it's just a situation where it's like I'm trapped, and God knows I'm trapped, and He's He ain't working on it, right? He's already got something planned, but it's kind of like, you know, it's just the timing. Just the timing, right? Come on, God, get us out of this. I mean, a world, a world takeover, right? Um... What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna? Do? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just thinking about things. I kind of thought about. I, I, oh, let me show you all this. This is my grandpa. This is my grandpa Truxilla. He's not the one who died first. Uh, that this that I felt so closely during my near near death experience. This is my grandpa Truxilla, and he was a, a naval engineer. This is something he had in his uh, in his bedroom that I that I um, got after my grandmother died, and this is him right when he entered into the uh, into the navy, right? And so I just I keep this right here. He's a handsome guy. He has none of my. This is what my brother looks like. My brother looks exactly like this, and I look more like my grandpa on the other side and like my mom. Which way do you turn it without the? But he has like no, he had like a short torso, right? Like it, it oh, I'm like, oh, I, I'm so jealous of people with short torsos because mine's so long and it makes my uh, like st sitting up straight and standing up straight hard. But him and my brother, they have these short torsos, right? I maybe got a little bit not. I'm I got more of my grandmother's looks, but this is my this is my grandpa Truxillo. He was in World War II. He was a naval engineer. So, uh, and I think it was in Okinawa. I don't remember the exact island. I have it written down because I did a school report on it. And, um, like, they would go in. He wouldn't go in. The people with, like, the flamethrowers and the guns would go in. And they would, you know, clear the area. They would, you know, do what they did in war. And then when the area was, like, secured, then he would come in. And his team would come in build barracks and everything like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. He told me once, it, it was a conversation that really, really struck me. Um, you know, he said the pendulum always swings, right? And he said that sometimes it'll just swing wildly all the way because that's the way a pendulum works. And he said this is the way that humanity and civilizations work. And he said, but always the pendulum will swing back, right? To the center, but then to the other side. And he said, that's how societies work. So sometimes when the society goes absolutely crazy, the pendulum's all the way up here. But there's a reaction from humanity. I mean, if it's not, you know, the New World Order has so much firepower with asymmetrical warfare, but so it comes back down. I remember that, that was one of the best conversations that kind of just was like a eureka moment on how things worked, you know, when they're too fruit flies, sorry.
Uh, but yeah, this is him, and I keep it here, and I, I look at it sometimes, and then, and then this is uh, one of his uh, old flashlights. Uh, conspicuously looks like a lightsaber. Can I get that? Can Can y'all see that? I want to shine it at the camera. Does that do anything when I shine it at the camera? Have you been drinking? Have you been drinking? Um, did you see that? All right, guys. So, um, so everybody, just be preparing. I'm preparing and kind of looking at looking at the landscape. What's happening? Um, it's very, very bad. But there's going to be backlash, right? You know, there's going to be a lot of backlash where. Old Joe ain't gonna be liked by anybody, and then people are gonna be asking for something else, right? Which could be a uh, Trojany horse, um, but but it might be better than this, you know. It might it might give the it might give some hope, you know. All right, guys, I love y'all, and. God bless you, and God bless your families. God protect y'all. Just get real close to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Even in times when it seems like it's just you're surrounded, um, you know, he will, he will take your hand. He will take your hand and just, it's like, it's like you go into a different reality from where those people are getting you, you know. Perception is a huge thing. Um, well, I need to do a video on that. I did a couple of videos on perception management. What, what our attackers trying to do with the CIA is experimenting on and doctors and perception is a great weapon um, with asymmetrical warfare and what they're doing to society right they use people's perceptions against them oh everything's okay I'll just get the vaccine and they just they, they lack knowledge right um, and so it's like in, in this and why why the mind control gets so bad sometimes is it's messing with perception when you have a good perception, you can beat a lot of things, right? So, so our perception, controlling our perception, is, is very, very important. And I say that the biggest thing to do on that is to first look to God. You know, say, God, help me. Help me with my perception. I want to see through heaven's eyes, right? Uh, like, the, oh, like the one of my favorite things, um, one of my favorite things, the, the, the Disney Moses movie where it's like, uh, look at your life through heaven's eyes. Look at your life through. I, I don't know the the uh, what, but it was a great. I love that when I was a kid. That was great, and it it just was one of those other eureka moments for me. I got it. I got with it. You know, look at your life through heaven's eyes. Elite from the lion set. You know. All right, guys. I love y'all, and I don't know when I'll see y'all again, uh, but I'll kind of I'll let y'all know. You know. Um, let's fight as much as we can. The revolution will not be televised. All right. I will see you all soon. Take care of each other. Uh, just God bless your families, and uh, you know God protect you.